So, today, we we have some leveling to do. <laughs> we have some Pokemon that we just got recently. Like, right before we ended stream, in fact. Uh, that need leveling. So, we need to do that. But also, we need to catch a Pokemon out here. Let me make sure that we have a Pokemon that's not going to kill everything in the front. Should be fine. And let's catch a Pokemon. We can catch a Pokemon out here, and then we can give it a nickname, and then we will go ahead and start our leveling montage for this stream. We're gonna go up here to catch our Pokemon. Which means I think we have to fight this trainer first. Yes. She would go anywhere to show off her delightful Pokemon. I agree, though. See, Pokefan Isabel and I would get along. I like to show off my Pokemon, too. This could be a tricky matchup. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, uh, I might go back to the nickname Raider guy and change Balefire's name because I don't like it. And I feel like it'll get confusing for actual Balefire. So I might go change Balefire's nickname. <laughs> they didn't, uh... I didn't consider that I might be confusing my actual dog. Just saying, gow. Okay. Have good sleep, Genoxis. Thanks for coming and doing a lurk. I appreciate you. Gow. Gow. <laughs> and head pads. I love head pads. Thank you for the head pats, Genoxis. You have a good day at work tomorrow, too. Do you work in the morning? You probably work in the morning. Have a good day at work. Blue head pats. Oh, the head pats are too high. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I can fix that real quick. Hold on. Wait, I got this. I can fix that real quick. There we go. Nice head pats for Eevee. Better. Easy. <laughs> we might have to switch. I'm worried that this Plusle is going to kill Bellfire. Oh, that's right, we have a berry. I forgot about that. That's right, we had a just in case berry. Well, <laughs> never mind, we're switching anyway. <laughs> forced self care, I appreciate you. I appreciate that forced self care. <laughs> Sometimes we need forced self care, okay? Sometimes it's necessary. So did you don't Okay, Screamo did not get paralyzed. Hi Romeo! Too true. You're here to cause trouble. Well, joke's on you. I like people who cause trouble. <laughs> oh, let me mark these real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna do a hydrate and a stretch. I'm gonna do the things. You can listen to the battle music while I do the things. I'll do the hydrate and the stretch in between attacking things. Make it double. Ha! Nice. Nice. Zodiac. Zodiac's on it. Zodiac gets it. This is a Pokemon stream. We make trouble double here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to switch again. Yep. <laughs> uh, poor Screamo, you tried. Everyone's getting paralyzed today. If you see any broken lamps, you know what happened. What? <laughs> We're breaking lamps? Why are we breaking lamps? <laughs> Help. I don't understand. My headbutt is so weak after one growl. 
Stop growling and paralyzing me! Stop! We're solo leveled. Even the normal trainers are scary now. <laughs> you you didn't bright you don't like bright lights. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. I I got you. I got you. That's okay. I don't like bright lights either. They give me migraines. <laughs> I think we'll get along just fine. Are zombies afraid of light? Maybe. Nice! One blade of grass was all we needed to find our first Pokémon to catch. I forgot to change our nickname. <laughs> okay, first, let's blind it. Zombies are afraid of stupid. Oh. I think everyone's afraid of stupid, though, right? <laughs> or aren't we all a little bit? Don't paralyze my Pokémon! Oh, I see. I got you. I get the pun. The pun went over my head, but now I understand. Because you need brains to eat. <laughs> I get it. I get it! <laughs> Zodiac's joke game is just too powerful for me. It's too strong. No one fears Keijo, exactly. Why would anyone fear Keijo? Keijo is... Keijo is Keijo. Keijo is awesome. I love that emote. <laughs> I love that emote. We have to use up all these Pokeballs so we can start using only Great Balls. I don't want to attack the Electrike again because I'm playing around the crit. <laughs> I'm worried that... If I use Tackle and it crits, that it'll die just like that poor Wingle. We did it! Yes! Excellent. You have the sword, fear you? Ha! You're right, though. Electric runs faster than the human eye can follow. The friction from running is converted into electricity, which is then stored in this Pokémon's fur. Danger pets. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it needs a nickname now! You must pick a nickname for Electric. I'm going to get the PNG ready. While I am getting that ready, you all get to pick a nickname. We have an Electric type now. Do nickname thing. Nickname thing go. Da na 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 na. Gotta get the PNG ready to go on OBS. Yes, I am singing. This is this is what I'm used to doing. Do you, I have dogs, okay? I have dogs, and so I'm used to turning everything into strange lyrics and making silly songs. This is what I do. This is my life. Dog owners understand. Cat owners probably understand too. <laughs> do we have any fallen Pokémon not yet? Not yet, and we're not going to have any. Yeah, that's right, universe, I'm challenging you. We will not have any fallen Pokémon. No Pokémon will fall. None. No fallen Pokémon. There will be none. We are an ace trainer. We are experts here, and we will not have any fallen Pokémon. I'm almost done. Almost done. Okay. There we go. We have a precious green boy. Girl. Precious green girl. We have a precious green girl. So now... Ah. Uh, whoops. It's fine. They just went in the wrong folder for a second. Look at that. Precious green girl. Alright. She's there. She's ready. We actually, we might level her right away. Uh, so what names we got? We got McQueen, 
bolt like the movie. And... <laughs> yes, the very best like no one ever was. Ah, uh, McQueen and Bolt are both really good names. That actually, though, those are both really good names. Um, name it Gertrude. <laughs> uh, how about this? How about I like? Let's do Bolt. I like Bolt. Let's name it Bolt, and then we can name the next run Gertrude. How's that? If you all still want to use Gertrude on the next one, then we'll name the next one Gertrude. Because I like Bolt for this one. I like that one. We have to go rename Evie. Evie will be Balefire no more. Evie will now be... <laughs> not Gertrude. <laughs> Evie will now be... Phoenix. Why Phoenix, you ask? Because I thought about it. And I thought it would be appropriate to name our Umbreon Phoenix like, uh... Like I used to name my character in all of my games. I thought it would be appropriate since I always bring Umbreon with me. You can speed up? Yes! I can speed up. I have a zoom button. <laughs> Is it a mod? Yes. The, the correct answer to that question is yes. I am playing a completely legitimate Game Boy Advance on my computer. <laughs> it is modified. Heck yes. Okay, this is going in our party. Bolt is going in our party. Uh... Sorry, Screamo. Oh, wait, actually, I need to take the item off of Screamo first. Um... So... Let's do this. Wait. We can... Actually, this might be our party. But hold on, I gotta get the silk scarf back from Screamo first. You might have to... I can show you how to do that. I can show you how to break open your Game Boy Advance and make it sue me. <laughs> I can do that. Okay, so... I do want to keep Kiwi Burb. I do want Kiwi Burb. I do want... Not Goomba. I do want Tapioca. And of course, we're going to keep Zigzam in the party because they have Pickup. And I want Bolt. And we're not getting rid of Phoenix. So... I do really want Bait in our party. But, um... We're going to level them up because I know they will be useful but they might not stay in the party at first. We'll switch them with Kiwi Burb. Just for now, for leveling purposes. Actually, we have... The whole point was to grab all of the Pokémon that need leveling and level them. Hold on, we gotta do some switch in here. Cause we gotta level- we might have to put away Phoenix. For this leveling montage. Because... I don't think Phoenix can handle being switched in and out. These Pokémon might be too high leveled. <laughs> so, we will keep... Tapioca. And... Not Goomba as our high levels. And the rest will be for leveling. We gotta go get some levels. Yep, leveling montage. It's time. Bye bye, Romeo. Thanks for coming. 
Choo -choo. Oh, another rare candy! Okay, so now we need to put these all in order because you know I can't stand it when they're not in order. They need to be in order. I need them in order. <laughs> okay. We're good. It's fine. We have them in order now. Everything's okay. It's time. It's time for a leveling montage. We have leveling to do. It's time to zoom. Mine stronger. Question? Answer. I have answers. I have all of the answers. What does whiteout mean? Whiteout means if all of the Pokémon die. I'm not sure if the newer Pokémon games still call it whiting out. Um, I think the older Pokémon games either called it blacking out or whiting out. I think it's blacking out, but the screen turns white. Yeah. It's the We Died game screen. <laughs> Look at that! Zigzam already picked up an item! Zigzam's such a champ. More rare candies. An Electrike. Oh. We know how to counter an Electrike. It's howling a lot. We need heals. Best part of leveling montage, the zoom button. We can do the zoomies. That's right, you just keep howling and doing nothing else. And we got paralyzed. Ugh. Needs less electrikes. You've never played Pokemon before? What? Well. We're, we're definitely gonna have to do a whole lot of learnings then. Aha! It put itself to sleep! Yes! Win! Pokemon is super fun. I highly recommend playing. Especially since you've never played before. It'll be a fun new experience for everyone. The best part of playing games on stream, to me at least, is when you've never played it before, and so everyone gets to experience your first playthrough of a game, and that's just... It's so much fun. For me at least. I think it's really fun experiencing a game for the first time with someone. I think it's fun. Charmander, best boy. Charmander is a very good boy. My favorite starter is Torchic. Because I like Blaziken. He'll stream one eventually. Just don't know how to set it up. I can help with that. That is a thing I can assist with. Great, we're paralyzed. Well, back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Our bait is level 10 now. Maybe they can start fighting on their own soon. A nice thing about Pokemon is it can be super chill and relaxed. Or... <laughs> it can be super, like, involved and you can make it really difficult on yourself. Because there are mechanics that 
Uh, a lot of the early games really don't explain to you and, in fact, keep hidden from you. <laughs> So, uh, it, it can be all kinds of fun or chill. I like both ways. Giggity. <laughs> oh, is that the first time we've seen a Minun? I like Minun. should be looking into what moves Pokemon can learn and like planning my evolutions around that this is risky uh no, nope. I'm uncomfy. Gotta switch a different Pokemon in. Alright, we're fine. See, even wild Pokemon can make things difficult sometimes. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Zodiac is very on top of the... This calls for a Giggity. He's on it. He's got it. <laughs> now, before we forget... Full heal. Very nice. We might be able to start fighting on their own. Use a supersonic. Missed. Okay, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe bait isn't ready. We tried. Bait made a good effort. Ooh, a gulpin. Oh, we're gonna fall asleep. No. The poison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. All right, we're fine. Oh, God. The zoom button got stuck. <laughs> Panic. Oh, we can fight this. We can definitely fight this. We can fight this. It knows absorb. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. No. Oh my god! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's okay, bait! You're okay! <laughs> You'll be okay! Oh jeez! <laughs> Mistakes were made! Thank god we play around the crit! <laughs> okay! Lesson learned. Bait is not ready. Not even against an Oddish. Especially not against an Oddish. Apparently we're still struggling with wing goals too. There we go. Okay. <laughs> wing goals are hard, guys. Never mind that we accidentally killed a Wingle. The first thing we did in the Nuzlocke. Wingles are hard. That 100% accuracy rate with Supersonic that the enemy always gets. Meanwhile, our Supersonic will never hit.
zoom. There we go. <laughs> yep, exactly. 50-50, 0% for us, 100% for them. Exactly. And we're paralyzed. Yup. Yup, agreed. 50-50 is always rigged. It is. It's always rigged. Remember, that patented desire sensor. You have a 99% chance of success. Which means you have a 0% chance of success. Catch that Final Fantasy joke. Uh, crafting in Final Fantasy XIV, we had a running joke about the, uh, the crafting meter. And if it said you had a 90% chance of success and you finished the craft, there, there was a very good chance that that 90% chance of success was actually only about a 5% chance of success, and you would fail every time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's crafting in 14. Back in the early days. Let me get get settled in, grandchildren. <laughs> I'm a veteran Final Fantasy XIV player, and I'll tell you about back in the day when the auction houses couldn't be searched from just the board. You had to go to each individual person's retainer. And I'll tell you about the good old days before the auction house board, and they thought that the solution to this was <laughs> to give us these wards that everybody would put their retainers in and there was just these long hallways filled with people's retainers filling the hallways and you had to check each individual retainer looking for the thing that you wanted <laughs> and uh ew, good old days you're gonna hear me say the good old days a lot grandchildren um, <laughs> uh, back when the game first started uh, there was there wasn't you know a whole lot of resources for things and there including was not an NPC to repair your gear and so everybody had to level crafting classes or forfeit all of your money to the crafters to repair your gear because somebody in Final Fantasy XIV's team decided that it was a good idea to have a, uh, what's it called? A system where your gear gets damaged, essentially. They decided that was a good idea, and if your gear got to 0%, it would break. <laughs> and then you had to, you couldn't use it. You had to get it repaired. And it was so expensive. <laughs> so even if you didn't want to level crafting, you had to level crafting. Because otherwise you'd never have all those good gears you wanted. Because they were so expensive to buy from crafters. And all your stuff would break down. And you wouldn't be able to repair it. And then it would be useless. Yeah, your gear would break down. Does, it, does gear not break down anymore? Does it no longer have a durability system? Because if Final Fantasy XIV no longer has a durability system, I'd be very okay with that. But when I played last, there was still a durability system. But there was also NPCs you could pay to repair your gear that were very reasonable. When gear repairs were first started though, there was not an NPC to repair your gear. 
and crafters knew that, and it was incredibly expensive to get your gear repaired. <laughs> oh, you'll notice. You'll notice. Just wait. Just wait. You'll get the message on your screen that your, your gear is below 30% or whatever it is. And you'll be like, what? I don't want this. You'll be confused, and then you'll have to go and find an NPC to repair your gear. Uh, you can ask Zodiac. Zodiac is very familiar with my uh, durability system rants. I hate the durability system. I think it's stupid. I understand why it's in place, and I think it's stupid. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I hate games with a durability system. We probably still shouldn't let uh, Bait be out here and fight things. I think we have a Paralyze heal. Let's just use it. Yup, I agree. Durability systems are bad game design. I agree. I do not like them. I think they're stupid. I think they make the game less enjoyable. And they shouldn't be a thing. I should be able to run around and not worry about my gear breaking down. <laughs> and that is a huge part of why I have not played Breath of the Wild. Because I am not a fan of not being able to use the weapons that I want to use. And having them constantly breaking down and having to constantly replace everything. No, I don't want to. That's why I like Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact doesn't make my stuff break down. <laughs> I can just relax and play and enjoy myself without worrying about my gear breaking down. And I enjoy that. I think we're gonna get everyone to at least level 20. That is the goal. We're gonna be doing this for a little bit. At least we have a zoomy button. Nice! <laughs> Electrike defeated itself in its confusion. probably fight a Zigzagoon now. I think Bait can handle Zigzagoons. Let me do a thing real quick. We're gonna do a studying thing, okay? We're actually, we're gonna take the time for the first time in stream. Because, you know what? This is a Nuzlocke. And we should be taking it seriously. So let me go ahead and look up Goldeen and find out what level it evolves at before we continue leveling. So we can make sure. Okay, it doesn't evolve until 33, so that's fine. We're safe. What about Electrike? Let's just real quick take a minute and look everybody up. So we can make sure that we know what levels we want things to evolve at. So that we don't miss out on any moves that we might want. Ninkata. I'm almost done. Almost done. Okay, so we do need to make sure that we double check for Ninkata. So we won't level Ninkata. Because we want to make sure that we're 
not evolving things before they might learn a move that we want. Yes, Pokemon evolve. They evolve into another form. And then they learn moves at different levels. And sometimes they can learn moves in their first form that they wouldn't be able to learn in their evolved form. So it's good to check. And I haven't done that yet. So, in fact, we didn't do that at all with Dustox, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, Dustox is tapioca, by the way. What about, let's double check, Screamo. I'm, I'm going through my list to see which Pokemon I need to check. Okay, so we don't want to level Screamo either, because they evolve at level 20. And Zigzam. I think that might be a level 20 evolution, too. Yep, that's a level 20 evolution as well. And we have to check Kiwi Burb. I think I spelled that right. Yes. Almost. Okay, so Kiwi Burb is level 22, so that's fine. And this one's level 22 as well. Okay, and we're only going to level 20 for most of these, so we'll only worry about the ones that we have to worry about at level 20. So we'll just level everything else. And we'll pay attention to those others. But yeah. Yes, Pokemon evolve. They evolve at higher levels. And the different forms can learn different moves. So normally that wouldn't really matter. Because you can play Pokemon pretty casually. But we're playing a Nuzlocke. So, we want to make sure that we're leveling Pokémon in a way that we won't miss moves that we might want. We have to level strategically. Oh my god, stop being paralyzed! So we're not going to be leveling Dig Dug, Screamo, or Zigzam. Because they'll evolve at level 20. But we'll evolve everybody else. Or we'll level everybody else. We won't evolve. And I'll have to look into those three. To make sure that I have their leveling planned out. did a lot less damage than I was expecting. It's so great that bait can battle by themselves sometimes now. Everything paralyzes us here. Oh, actually, we... We didn't plant any berries, right? We're fine. We didn't plant any berries. We don't need to go check any berries. Because we knew we would have to sail all the way back across the water if we planted any berries. So we didn't plant any. the berries do? The berries do a lot of things. Um, if you give them to a Pokemon to hold, 
then the Pokemon can use the berry under certain circumstances. Like, just a regular berry, if their HP gets low, they'll eat it, and it'll recover 10 HP, as an example. But there's also, like, status berries and effect-type berries, so... Like, there's berries that they'll eat to cure themselves of confusion. And there's berries that they'll eat to reduce the damage of a super effective move. You know, things like that. There's a lot of different types. Of... It's interesting. Also, in this generation of Pokemon and onward, I don't remember if the second generation had it too, there's Pokemon contests. And you can use some of the berries to grind in the Pokeblock little minigame thing and make Pokeblocks to feed to your Pokemon that will increase their contest stats. So like their coolness or how cute they are, you know, things like that. Make them cuter and smarter and stuff. Yeah. That thing that's happening right now, by the way, is because our Pokemon is poisoned. When your Pokémon is poisoned, it will take one damage every few steps until you heal it. Which is obviously a very bad idea when we're playing a Nuzlocke. So we go fix that right away. In the, uh, in the later games, they made it so that your Pokémon couldn't die from poison outside of battle. But in the earlier games, it still does that. And I don't know if this is one of them, and I don't want to test it, because this is a Nuzlocke. So, I want my Pokémon to not die. Because that would be bad. Ha-ha! It defeated itself in its confusion! Yeah, that would be pretty bad. It would be very bad. Just in the middle of a round, just like... Screaming and crying in the middle of the round. Everyone's just like, what is going on with that trainer? Meanwhile, we're just sobbing and crying, or crying, screaming at the sky. <laughs> because our Pokémon died from poison. It would be a very sad day. Stop paralyzing me every time! Haha, -ha, I'm already paralyzed! I'm ten steps ahead of you. Poor, silly Electrikes. They can't keep up with us. I wonder if we could safely fight a Gulpin. Probably not. It's probably safer to just not. Because I don't know what attacks they have. We could have had a Gulpin. And it could have evolved into a Swellot. Big purple ghosty glob boy. It's not actually a ghost, but it looks like a ghost. It looks like when somebody puts a sheet over their head. Heels. This is why we're having a leveling montage day. This is how long it takes to get to level 20. But we have to level our Pokémon, because otherwise they could get dead, and that would be bad. We don't want our Pokémon to get dead. We love them. We want to be friends with all of them. And we have a zoom button, so leveling montages aren't that bad. It's okay. We could probably 
probably fight this. It's probably okay. Yeah, it's okay. We can fight Gulpins. Bait is getting so strong. It's fine. We'll wake up. Why aren't you waking up? There we go. Just three, sleep through getting pounded repeatedly. 19, we're so close. No, not Giggity. Bad time to Giggity. <laughs> Quagmar probably would Giggity from that though. Quagmar would. You know, you know he would. Joe's mission in life now is to get the Giggity before Zodiac. The competition has begun. A lifelong rivalry. And through this rivalry, they shall become best friends, just like in Pokemon. rivalries work, right? That's how that's how rivalries work in real life. It makes you best friends. It doesn't make you hate each other or anything with a fiery passion. No, it makes you best friends. That's how rivalries work. Pokemon gets it. Paralyzed. You've never had a rival. Oh. Well, congratulations, Keijo. You now have a rival. You have a rival in Zodiac. Everyone wasn't as good as you. Oh! Shots fired! Shots fired. <laughs> All right, bait is leveled. Go. It's time to levels or enter. Zoom. Just kidding, no. Keijo is better than everyone. What are you talking about? You're gonna start singing this music too. Because you're gonna hear it so much. You're gonna be just like me. Level eight. No. You already have. Yep, see? Exactly. It's just such good music. You can't help but repeat it when you listen to it. Over, and over, and over. The best part of training montages. The music! Stop being paralyzed! Aww. Being just like me means you're an amazing person. Thank you. I appreciate you, Keijo. I'm glad you think I'm an amazing person. I try hard. <laughs> Music man! Yes! 
Yes! Cue Rocky trading music. Oh, I wish, but it's probably DMCA'd. <laughs> like, actually, though, that would be super cool to do. But we're probably not allowed to. Plusles are so strong! More rare candies! We have so much candy. Yeah, sad. Sad, no rocky music. Sad. We should get Nagoomba in here. Nagoomba still needs a level. Oh my gosh. Tackles take so long! It's okay, we're level 20 now. What level is tapioca? Is it, are you level 20 now? Not quite. Soon. What Pokemon are we fighting? I already forgot. Gulpin! Do a base boost version to get around DMCA. Does that work? <laughs> Does that actually work? I'm scared to try. Soon. Soon! Ultra Ball. Very nice. We're gonna have so many Ultra Balls for that one Pokemon that refuses to be caught. Because you know it's gonna happen. There's going to be that one Pokemon that refuses to be caught. So our enters learning moves. They're becoming viable. Ow. Moonlight, yes! Hi, Cloudy Clarity! Hello, Too True! Hi! Welcome! Thank you for the follow! Thank you! We're doing a leveling montage! Oh, I have to pick something to get rid of now! Oh, choices! Oh, choices! Let's get rid of Tackle. Let's... Yeah, let's keep Poison Sting. Poison Sting has strategic value. Let's get rid of Tackle. I want Moonlight. We're getting Moonlight. No, not Switch. Summary. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, are we flying type? Do we... No, we're not. We don't get bonus from this. We have a healing move! Tapioca just became the MVP. Cloudy's home. Yay! Welcome home, Cloudy. Yes, Keijo is good friend. Keijo is best friend. We love Keijo here. Stop being paralyzed! Everything paralyzes me! Worst training montage ever. So much paralysis. You caught the big sick and food poisoning? Oh no. Oh no. I hope you're feeling better now. Or that you will soon. Food poisoning sucks a lot. I accidentally gave myself food poisoning once because I didn't realize that orange juice goes so badly so quickly after you open it. You're supposed to drink it within like a week or something. 
and it was like two weeks since I opened it, and I got real sick. Real sick, real bad. It was bad. I learned my lesson. I'm very careful about regularly... No. 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 I hope we didn't just mess up. Oh, jeez. I forgot that Zigzam was one of the ones that we couldn't get to level 20. It's okay, they don't learn anything on Evolve. It's fine, we're fine. Everything's fine, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Knee-jerk reaction was stop evolution. It's okay. It's okay, it's alright, everything's fine. You're feeling better. Just really tired and still quite a cough. Aw. Oh. Coughing sucks. Coughing sucks a lot. I hope it gets better soon. No, not withdraw Pokemon. Move Pokemon. Because we can switch in... Neither of these two. But we can level up this one. Just switch some things around real quick. And these two need to be leveled as well. So actually, we might um, switch Kiwi Burb and Tapioca and switch Not Goomba and Phoenix. There. So we have more people. Been a sad time. Well, I'm glad you still got to see some things and eat some good food. And that you're recovering. And a stream tonight. Nice. I hope it goes well. And Zigzam's just gonna be at the bottom here, so we know not to use them. Because we keep forgetting. And we almost accidentally evolved them. Gotta be more careful. Phoenix can fight a Zigzagoon. Oh my gosh. Growl. Um. I don't think we want. Well, yeah, we'd rather have Growl than Helping Hand. I'll take Growl. We do do a heal. Because poor Phoenix. Poor Phoenix just can't take it. Phoenix is still a baby Eevee. Oh. Nope. What Pokemon are we fighting again? Oh yeah. <laughs> My brain just goes, oh, this Pokemon's not a problem, and completely forgets what Pokemon it was that we were fighting. Ow! Heels. We need them. Good thing we have a Pokemon Center right down there. Nice and close, so we can just go back there after basically every fight. <laughs> uh, this is what leveling montages are all about. The struggle. It's all about the struggle. It's worth it for them levels. Especially since it's a Nuzlocke, we kind of need them. Too bad fast travel doesn't exist. Yeah. And we're paralyzed again. We're always paralyzed. We only know paralysis. Oh, fast travel does not exist. Uh, we will eventually have a move called fly that we can use to go between cities, but it's going to be a long time before we have that.
we could maybe fight this. What moves do we have? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We're not going to fight this. And we're poisoned. Okay. Let's just, uh... Stop putting all of my Pokemon to sleep! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're safe. Paralysis and poison. All the time. This is not a great place for a training montage. <laughs> but it's the best place we have right now. <laughs> well, I said fly your brains and fly swatter. We would use a fly swatter to get around by riding it like a broomstick. Because it is clearly a giant fly swatter. Because no regular sized average fly swatter would ever do. We are far too epic for an average sized fly swatter. And we're paralyzed. No, not yet. Soon, this turn, it didn't paralyze us. That's amazing. I think that's the first time an Electric hasn't paralyzed us. This plusle, though, it's coming. There it is. We're paralyzed. And we do so little damage because it keeps growling at us. Ow! Why? You have a sliver of HP left. <laughs> it's a giant fly swatter with the magic broom tape to the bottom. Yes. Because that would make it even more epic. And we, we deserve only the best of the epic items here. And the best of the epic flying items is clearly a giant fly swatter taped to a magic room. Yes. See, Keijo gets it. Keijo gets it. Keijo knows how epic we are here. Headbutt hurts. Pain. <laughs> keep running back into the Pokemon Center. Ah, and we're paralyzed. No one wins with a headbutt. <laughs> I mean... Yes. <laughs> They'll never win with a headbutt. We'll never let them. And we're ta paralyzed. Always paralyzed. Perpetually paralyzed. We're making so much progress, though. Technically you do. Technically you win with that, but... <laughs> that kind of sounds adorable. But wouldn't that ruin your hat? What about your hat? What about your beautiful hat? Why would you crush your beautiful hat with a headbutt? Why would you do that? Why would you disrespect your hat like that? You take the hat off first, right? Ow! Please. You can break cinder blocks with your head. Wow. Actually, though, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> yes, take the hat off first. Save the hat! The precious hat. You cannot break cinder blocks in the hat because the hat would be damaged. 
We don't want to damage the hat. Breaking cinder blocks with your head sounds painful, though. Will Zerenter ever be able to fight on their own? Maybe when they learn something other than leech life. Maybe this level. Ow. They had a berry! Nope, they did not learn anything new. Poor Zerenter. They're trying. They'll get there. How has our Zigzam not picked up anything? This whole time. You have a hard head, so it's not painful. The berry! Yup. I'm not confident in using Zerenter yet, even though it's higher leveled than the other Pokemon. Because its moves are so weak. They're gonna learn something eventually. Can Pokemon pick up items from fights? Generally speaking, no. But they can if they have certain abilities. So like Zigzam, for example. Zigzam's ability is pick up. Zigzam can pick up items when we're running around or during fights. And there's a move called Thief that allows you to take the item that the opponent Pokemon is holding. So there are instances where a Pokemon can pick up an item, but they cannot normally pick up an item. They have to have an ability or a move or something to pick it up. Yeah, they didn't always have passive abilities. In, um, in the first generation, and I, I want to say generation one and two, I think both of them, they didn't have abilities. I'm pretty sure abilities were introduced in Generation 3, which is this generation. So different Pokemon have different abilities, and those abilities give them certain special bonuses. Or sometimes not special bonuses, sometimes negative bonuses that are not good. You can get bad abilities. We've been pretty lucky so far. We've gotten Pokemon with pretty good abilities. Okay, our ability, our Phoenix, our Eevee has Runaway, which is great because we're playing a Nuzlocke, so we can just run if we ever need to. Uh, Runaway guarantees that we can escape from a battle. Other than obviously trainer battles, it's for wild Pokemon battles. And Zigzam has pickup, so Zigzam picks up random stuff. And not Goomba, our Shroomish, who's not in our party right now. Uh, not Goomba has effect spore. So when a another monster uses a physical type move and makes contact with not Goomba, uh, they can sometimes end up getting paralyzed, slept, or poisoned. Um, I'm not sure what Zarenter has. Inner focus. So Zarenter cannot be flinched. So they can't be forced to miss a move from flinching from like bite or headbutt or things like that. And that's nice. Jelly Belly has draining causes injury. Liquid ooze. So we should keep that in mind for uh, if we ever fight a Pokemon that uses absorb and stuff. And I think our... Oh yes, Zerenter finally learned to move. Learned bite. Good. Excellent. Now we can do fights. Um, I think... 
Oh! Bolt has lightning rod. That's interesting. Draws electrical moves. So if we were in, like, a team battle with Bolt and an opposing Pokémon used an electric-type move, even if it targeted the other Pokémon, it would still hit Bolt. Yeah, it is a lot of stuff to keep track of. <laughs> but you kind of get used to it. Uh, we'll be fine. No, never mind. <laughs> it's okay, Zerunter can do, like, one fight now. Wake up, Phoenix. Phoenix likes napping. I don't blame Phoenix. Napping is nice. Hydrate, yes. I will definitely hydrate. We'll get in this fight. So we can... Let the fight progress. Hydration accomplished. Look at that. Multitasking. We can fight and hydrate at the same time. We're just that amazing. Ow! <laughs> Pain. We're fine. Everything's fine. Um... We could probably fight an Oddish. Yeah! We confused it! Good job! Yeah, we can fight an Oddish. We'll be alright. Oh wow, we do so little damage. It's okay, they do so little damage too. Hey, actually, could we use Leech Life? Yeah, we could use Leech Life. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm too scared. I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight a Wingle with Surrenter. Surrenter's so squishy. We're so careful with our squish babies. We have to be, because we love them. Mm, no. No, we're careful with our squish babies. Level 17! Let's go! A nugget! Nice. We're so rich. And it's all because of Zigzam. We did we do it? We did okay on the Gulpin. No, we didn't. That's right. Gulpin is super chonky. Stop putting my Pokemon to sleep. We'll be fine. Let's go do heals. I don't like it when Phoenix is like 30 HP and under. Oh, we can fight this. Nice. Good job, Zorenter. Zorenter doing their own fights sometimes now. Can even heal a little bit. Mine's better. Look at that. Free heals. Very nice. Zorenter's getting so independent. Doing so good. They're gonna be a big bat soon. Oh, we should have Zorenter hold a soothe bell. Ah, I didn't even think about that. We gotta get the soothe bell on Zorenter. I hate being paralyzed. Please. got pizza? Nice! Jealous. Pizza is delicious. Where's our soothe bell? Give. 
Yes. And a silk scarf. Give that to Phoenix. Because they don't have a berry anymore. And... That's fine. This is good. We'll go do heal things. What's a Soothe Bell? A Soothe Bell is an item you can give to a Pokémon that raises their friendship. Hi, Sandra! Welcome back! To true. Thank you for the raid! We are, we are still playing our Nuzlocke. Welcome, everyone! We are still playing our first Nuzlocke. I am excited to have you back. We are, uh, we're leveling Montage today. <laughs> what were you playing today? I love your raid emote. It's so cute. I love it. Love it. We're playing Pokemon Emerald. Oh god. <laughs> I want to watch the clip too. Oh She's walking that body. Oh. You were playing that one uh that's Dead Space, right? Is that one Dead Space? Am I remembering that clip correctly? Pokémon Emerald. I've actually never played Pokémon Emerald. You just played Pokemon Emerald for seven hours? Wow. That is some endurance. I am impressed. Also, I hope that you are, uh, are taking care of yourself during that seven hours. That's so long. Have you been hydrating and stretching and eating? I am here to mom at you. You went a little crazy halfway through. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hold on, let me try to pronounce this. Shiraishi. I'm gonna... Shiraishi. I hope that's correct. <laughs> Welcome to the Grove. Marshmallow Grove. That is a lot of hours. Seven hours is a lot. So in seven hours playing Pokemon Emerald, how far did you get? Because seven hours is a long time. You're right, Roxas. A little crazy does make life more interesting. I agree. We all need a little crazy in our life. Oh no, we missed our supersonic. Okay, we're fine. It's okay. You beat the first gym? I mean... Beating the first gym is great! Congratulations! You got all the way to Groudon and Lugia? Actually, though, I love Lugia. I love Groudon, too. I think Groudon's pretty cool, but I love Lugia. Like, I actually have a hard time picking between... Lugia and Suicune for my favorite legendaries because I like Lugia so much. But I love Suicune. You know? It's just... It's so close, yet so far. Eh, running into things. My zoom button. It's too fast. We zoom in a lot here. Is Lugia the blue... <laughs> Uh, you mean from this game? The blue guy is Kyogre. We'll, we'll get to see Kyogre later in this game. Um, Lugia is a really, really big, really cool looking white bird. Basically. <laughs> That's very oversimplified. But think like if a bird was a dragon and it was white. Kind of. Like, that's that's the best way I can think to describe it. <laughs> My favorite non-legendary is Umbreon. My favorite Pokemon is Umbreon. Umbreon, the Pokemon that I did not expect to be my favorite, but ended up being my favorite. Oh, you were thinking of Lucario. Yeah. Lucario's blue. 
is Lucario a pseudo legendary or something? Doesn't Lucario have its own movie? I don't know much about Lucario. Umbreon is cute. I love Umbreon. Why is Plusle so chonky? I just want to fight things with Zerenter. <laughs> yeah, Lucario had a movie. We like Lucario here. I've never actually had a Lucario, though. Like, real talk. I've never had a Lucario. I've never played Pokemon Emerald. I've never had a Lucario. I've never played Pokemon Black and White, either. I only recently played Pokemon X and Y. <laughs> yeah, Plusle is too strong. I don't know what's going on with Plusle, but they're, they're real small and real strong. It gives a renter a hard time. Level 19, let's go. One more level, one more. And then we move on to the next Pokemon. The exciting world of leveling montage. Pokemon red, blue, green, and yellow. I have played yellow and blue. Uh, I have not played green. And I think red and blue are the same game, right? There's different... I didn't have a lot of Pokemon games when I was a kid. <laughs> I've played some of them. I've been playing catch-up on a lot of the newer ones. I really want to play Legends of Arceus. I really want to play it. It looks like so much fun, but I don't own it. You think it's blue and green? I don't know. I have no idea. I just know I was able to play blue. And green was... Wasn't green released later as, like, a remake, like yellow? So it was originally red and blue, and then later they released green and yellow? Or something? Yeah, leaf green. Zodiac's got it. Which one is my favorite? Of all the Pokemon games, Crystal. Crystal is my favorite game. It will always be my favorite game. Although, I haven't played Legends Arceus yet, and I think Legends Arceus is going to give Crystal a run for its money. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to really enjoy Legends of Arceus. I do. Someday, someday we will have it. It's everything I ever wanted in a Pokemon game. At least it looks like it from what I've seen. I want to play. It'll probably be a bit before we play that, though, because I want to play it on stream, and I don't have a capture card. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we good. We're safe. Oh, wait, we got to take the item from Zerenter first. Item take. Actually, no, they can keep the suit belt. They can keep it. They're the only other one we have right now that's friendship-based, so they can keep it. Because we're not going to use it on Eevee. Well, Phoenix. Because we're not evolving Phoenix until level 30. So, Phoenix does not need the Sooth Bell. Um, we're going to get you back in the party. Switch. Um, now you're leveled. So we've got two Pokemon left to level, basically. Basically two Pokemon. There we go. Well, actually, no, because we don't want the exam to be used. Original Japanese release was red and green, but international release was red and blue. I see. 
that is interesting. The things you learn. Nerd. There's a Raiko here. If you hear nerd noises, that's Raiko. We love Raiko. Raiko is precious. And she is always hungry. Always. Raiko is always starving. She's complaining. <laughs> We're not giving her food right now. So she's complaining. Ugh. So much leveling. Yeah, Raiko agrees. <laughs> if you could hear me. Well, you can hear me. If you could hear Raiko. We have conversations. <laughs> Raiko actively participates in conversations, and it's great. Ow! Calm down, Zigzagoon! Pain! No! Go back out, out, out! Stop going in! Go, go! <laughs> Doors! Doors are hard, okay? How many levels have we got up? A lot. <laughs> A lot. But we still need so many. We have to get everyone to level 20. Because things are getting hard for our low-level Pokémon. So we've got two more Pokemon that are very underleveled that we need to get to 20. And then we'll be, we will be done with our leveling montage. <laughs> We're doing so good. And then I have a project to do tonight and tomorrow morning. I need to figure out uh, what levels we want each Pokemon to learn abilities at. I need to do research and make a thing to keep track so we can make sure we get good moves for our Pokemon so that our Nuzlocke is successful. We have to make sure everyone lives. We make friends with all of the Pokemons. All of the Mons shall be friends. And all of them shall live. Except for Wingle. The one that we accidentally <laughs> killed before we could even catch it. Rip Wingle. We will always remember Wingle. The Wingle who was supposed to be Tapioca. Never forget. Never forget, Wingle. Oh my god. Phoenix, you sleep so long! <laughs> it's okay. We remember Wingle. We named the next Pokémon Tapioca to honor that Wingle. My zoom button's stuck again. No, stop going back in the door. Okay, doors and fences are hard, okay? They're hard. In the arms of Wingle fly away from Phoenix. 
because they beat you up real bad and got a critical hit tackle we didn't play around the crit and we paid for that didn't catch our first Pokemon rip wingle wingle could have been tapioca <laughs> thanks for the follow Nebunix <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my serenade <laughs> the barbecue wings are delicious though wingle didn't go to waste oh no <laughs> Oh, apparently Wingle got made into barbecue wings. Rip Wingle, you were delicious. <laughs> Our stomachs will always remember you. Uh, level 11, ding! Progress! <laughs> Hello, Nebu! Do you prefer Nebu? Or Nyx? Or Nebu Nyx? Also, that's a cute cat you got there. A cute little wave. Hi. Hello. How are you today? You think you got raided in here, but you're not sure by who? Oh, it was, uh, Sandra! It was Sandra. A cute squirrel. Yeah. Twitch has some cute templates, though. Some of them. Ah, ah. The zoomies, they're too fast. Oh, you got right around a bunch? Nice. That's great, though. Look at how much love you've been spreading without even trying. See, that's just how amazing you are. You just have so much love to share. It just shares itself. It makes it all around. <laughs> the fantastic kind of love. You're fine with either? You prefer JC? I will try to remember that. JC and she, her. I will try to remember. It is okay to correct me. I will not be upset. No, that's that's Nebu. Nebu says Nebu says she prefers to go by JC. JC is her name. My name's not JC. That would be a neat name to have, though. I'd be okay with being JC. We're always paralyzed. Always paralyzed. <laughs> At least they can't paralyze us again anymore. We're already paralyzed. Whoops, we ran way past the Pokemon Center. Zooming is hard. How is everything in the game happening so fast? Magic. Because I am just that incredible. I'm amazing. And I only know how to go fast. Oh, you meant the spreading love. I mean, I do like to spread love. <laughs> no, we're poisoned. Stop the poison. Pain. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Keijo is a witch and summoned speed spells. Yes. Yup, Keijo is definitely summoning speed spells. That is absolutely 100% what is happening. We have the zoomies because Keijo has made it so. <laughs> Zoom. 
Zoomies! Yes! Ah, we got paralyzed. Your dog has zoomies sometimes? Mine too. <laughs> we have two dogs. And one of them gets the zoomies quite often. And it's hilarious. Kendra's currently sitting in a magic circle channeling mana. Yes. I'm already paralyzed! You can't paralyze me again! I'm five moves ahead of you. Never mind that I said I was ten moves ahead of them before. We're five moves ahead of them now. They've gotten smarter. <laughs> He's so precious. Yes. We, uh... We'll have to, like, put some pictures of Anubis on Twitter or something sometime so you can all see him. Because he has a big body and a tiny head. <laughs> He is a he is a precious, precious boy. Is it mana like banana or mana? I say mana. But I I don't know how Kato says it. Uh, stop confusing Phoenix. You should you should know by now that you can't confuse Phoenix. Phoenix is too strong to be confused. Did we get an item? Yes! More nuggets! We're going to be so rich! We are rich. We have so many nuggets. Stop being paralyzed. <laughs> Oh, will be lurking. Okay. You have a good lurk, JC. Thanks for chilling with us, having a good time. It's good to meet you. And thanks for the follow, too. Welcome to the Marshmallow Grove again. Please stop being paralyzed! <laughs> Why? <laughs> that paralyze is too powerful when fighting Wingles. They remember! <laughs> I love marshmallows, too! I think we're gonna get along great. <laughs> you can spell it marshmallow! I would be very okay with that. You can definitely t spell it marshmallow. <laughs> That's a vibe? Yeah. Level 14! We zoom in! And we're poisoned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pain! Alright, we're good. You say vibe and or cozy? Those are also things that I say sometimes. <laughs> I alternate between them all. I like all of them. Sometimes I like to say vibin', sometimes I like to say chillin'. And sometimes I'm cozy. Or comfy. I also like comfy. <laughs> Yes, Pog you! The Pogs. Pog you. Level 20 Kiwi Burb! We only have two Pokemon left to get to level 20. Also, free stuff! Super Potion. Very nice. We take those. You'll be okay, Phoenix. It's okay. We're paralyzed and confused. Phoenix is too epic. Let's go. Da -na 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 -na. Does 
Does Jelly Belly know any... No, not really. Poor Jelly Belly. They'll get there. They're trying. It's okay. We've got other Pokemon to support them. And we're paralyzed. <laughs> we're always paralyzed. Always. It's okay. We're so strong, it doesn't matter. No. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not until level 30, Phoenix. Love you, but not until level 30. You have a move to learn. We have to learn Bite first. And that's at level 30. Haha! <laughs> It can't use Yawn on us because we're paralyzed! Ten moves ahead. Always. Now we get to eat everything. Phoenix is gonna get real good at etting things. Everything will be et. Wow! One hit! Stonks. Yep. Exactly. Do 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 do. Phoenix is getting drowsy. It's okay. We already won the fight. Phoenix just wants- no, whoops. Phoenix just wants to take naps. Phoenix is a good boy. Seven, eight, nine. Pain. So close. We're so close to everyone being powerful. We're doing so good. And we're paralyzed. We're always paralyzed. Perpetually paralyzed. We only know paralysis. We know no way other than to be paralyzed. Do we have an item? No. Poor Jelly Melly. You're too weak to fight on your own. Does our, uh... Does our Goldeen, does bait? not even have a water type move yet like they don't even have water gun do they how do they not have water gun or am i just remembering wrong i'm pretty sure they don't have water gun they have peck and horn attack and supersonic stop being paralyzed please five in a row and a miss and back to being paralyzed. <laughs> this fight, though! Give them a bucket? Yes. That is what we need. We need a bucket for bait. So they can pretend to have water gun. Then they can grow the... You mean we throw the water? Then they can throw the water. See, Keijo gets it. Give them a bucket and they can throw water at things. Oh, great, we're confused. 
It's okay, Phoenix, Phoenix is too strong to be confused. Too strong for confusion. Ah. Uh. Let's use not Goomba. Ha ha, they're sleeping. All according to Kenkaku. Okay, now go do heal thing. We gotta keep Phoenix healthy. Because they're the one leveling everyone right now. So much paralysis. You know what's cool? I don't think it's in this game, but in the later generations, if a Pokemon likes you a lot, they can actually, like, through the power of friendship, they can survive. Like, if they were to be hit so that they would die, they can survive that hit. And they can also, uh, through the power of friendship, they can, uh, cure their own status effects. And also, through the power of friendship, they can get critical hits more often. The power of friendship is pretty epic in later generations. I don't know if the power of friendship is that strong in this generation yet. <laughs> yup, the power of friendship. We have a stronger move now. Our deeps are improving. Stop confusing Phoenix. At least they're not paralyzed. They will be now though. Yep, paralyzed. Of course, always paralyzed, perpetually paralyzed, only knows paralysis knows no way other than to be paralyzed. And free stuff! More rare candy! We have so much rare candy. If only Jelly Belly learned another move so that it could actually do its own fights. That's okay. We're getting lots of XP for Phoenix, too, this way. Which is good, because we still have to get them to level 30. And we're paralyzed. Of course. too strong. What's the difference between candy and rare candy? Uh, <laughs> I don't think there is any regular candy, but I could be wrong. Uh, rare candy you can give to Pokemon and it will raise their level by one level. Raiko, hi. Raiko is participating in this conversation now. <laughs> Raiko is back. Yeah, there's all kinds of, like, neat items in the Pokémon series. Rare Candy has been around... I think... I think Rare Candy has been around since the very first games. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, eventually, we're going to play a fan game called Pokémon Reborn. And Pokémon Reborn actually made another candy that will reduce your Pokemon's level by one level. So you can level your Pokemon down. Which I think is pretty neat.
Time for heals. 35 HP is too low. We don't like that. There are fan games? Yes! There are tons of fan games. And there are at least two that we are going to play on this channel. Why would you level down? Well, leveling down can be useful in the case of like a hardcore Nuzlocke, as an example, if you accidentally level too high. Uh, in hardcore Nuzlocke's, you can't level your Pokémon higher than the gym leader that you're currently preparing to face. So, like Brawly. We fought Brawly yesterday, and Brawly's highest level Pokémon is level 18. So, if Phoenix, if we had wanted to use Phoenix in that fight, and Phoenix was level 19, we could no longer use Phoenix. Because that gym leader's highest level Pokémon is level 18. That's for hardcore Nuzlocke's, though. That's not a normal Nuzlocke rule. That is a hardcore Nuzlocke rule. Um, and then there can also be situations where, like, say you caught a Pokémon at level 20, but it had a move at level 15 that you wanted to have, but it doesn't have that, that move that it learns at level 15 because, you know, it replaced it with something else. You could use the candies to bring it back down to level 14, and then use a rare candy and bring it to level 15, and teach it that move. Of course, there is a less complicated way to do that. You could just go to the move relearner. But... <laughs> The move relearner isn't always available. It's usually available later in the game. Brawly is in this game like the sand- No! No, Brawly, like, Brawl, like B-R-A-W-L, Brawly. He's a gym leader. We fought him yesterday. We got the, uh, the fist badge? I think it's called? From Brawly. And that was actually a tough fight. <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was risky. <laughs> Those are some next level strats? Yeah. You know, when you don't have the move relearner, you gotta do something. He killed Krillin. <laughs> Doesn't everybody kill Krillin? Poor Krillin. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's an NPC that you usually get later in the game, kind of like this guy over here, who's the name writer, and he writes your nicknames, and you can change the nickname of your Pokémon. There's a move relearner that you can go to, and they can make your Pokémon remember moves that they forgot. So it's super useful. Only person that isn't strong enough to kill Krillin is Krillin. Not Krillin! Yamcha couldn't krill Krillin? Ah, <laughs> uh, Yamcha. You think he could? If he wanted to? Apparently, we need to ask Dra Dragon Ball Z abridged if Yamcha can kill Krillin and add to the Krillin count. <laughs> the Krillin count must increase. Items! Free stuff! Yes! Oops. Give. Revive! Money! We can't use revives here. That's money. We're so rich. We're gonna be so rich by the time we're done here. Krillin is the strongest human. But what about Master Roshi? Isn't Master Roshi stronger than Krillin? Also, <laughs> honorable mention for Satan, who is just always in the right place at the right time to uh, take credit for everybody else's work. Krillin surpassed Roshi? Really? 
I didn't know that. We learning things today. Satan is cheating with the 100 luck stat. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda is, though. You know you're getting used to this run with the zoomies when you can use the zoomies all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Haha! You can't put me to sleep! I defeated you! Can't put me to sleep if I'm too strong to be slept. Oh, you're bad. Satan is the strongest human. <laughs> I mean, the world certainly thinks he is. You know, with his, uh, his tricks and his jetpack. And we're poisoned. No, we're poisoned. just want to fight the Pokemon with Tentacool instead of having to switch all the time. Jelly Belly, why don't you learn any new attacks? Acid! That's... something. Look, we have Tackle now! Satan did beat Cell and Majin Buu, so he must be the strongest. He beat Majin Buu with the power of friendship. Oh, maybe we can... No, that... No, they have Absorb. Never mind. This is a bad idea. I love Kid Buu. Kid Buu is great. Turn everyone into candy and eat them. Also, Majin Buu turning into a real boy and coming back as Oob. <laughs> Oh, we're so strong! Look, we can fight something! Oob. I like Oob's hair. Oob's got cool hair. a thing we can fight. Yes. It's always so exciting when Jelly Belly can fight something on their own. I bet they get excited about it too. Free stuff. Protein. That is for Phoenix. Yeah. You know who else has cool hair? Who? Who else has cool hair? It's still alive! You did? <laughs> Zodiac did have cool hair. And then he decided to shave it all off. 
now he has a cool bald head. There's this VTuber called Meza who has real nice hair. Well, Meza sounds nice. She she sounds like she has cool hair. Kajo says so. <laughs> Thank you, Kajo. I appreciate you. I like my hair too. And a beard. Zodiac does have a beard. He has a very nice beard. He has a glorious beard. We appreciate glorious beards here. <laughs> We're so close to level 20! No. No evolving. No evolving for five more levels. No. No. Romeo's been shrimping over his own hair. Aw. That sounds kind of precious, though. I'm glad Romeo likes his hair. Okay, so now we can put people back in our party that we want in our party. Do you have a water type attack yet? Are you just... Ugh. <sighs> Bait doesn't have a water type attack, and that makes me sad. There. Nope. Bad. There we go. He says he looks like some kind of Greek god. Quick claw, that's right, that's what you have. Nope, stop. Switch. Free stuff! Super potion! Yes! One last Pokemon to level. Save. Save. Yes. Nerd. Raikou. Okay. I'm gonna be right back a second. And you can all listen to the game music. Actually, I'm going to put you to the Be Right Back screen. You can listen to the Be Right Back screen music, because we haven't heard that in a long time. I will be right back. Do break thing. Get drinks. Use restroom. I will see you in a few minutes. We're back! <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all had a break, and thank you for the follow, Pichu! Thank you, Tutru! Hi! Welcome to the Marshmallow Grove! You are here. <laughs> Pokemans, yes! We level montaging! We gotta we gotta get all the Pokemon to level 20 because we're doing a Nuzlocke and we have some uh we have some Pokemon that are very behind right now. <laughs> well, we have just one Pokemon left that is very behind right now. Oh jeez. Thank you, Keijo! I peek you. Well, I hope everyone had a good break and did break things and got water and maybe some snacks. Keijo suggested you watch. Well, thank you, Keijo. And thank you for being here, Pichu. We're having fun. <laughs> we're, do we're doing a whole lot of chilling and chatting and leveling things. Ow, pain! Pain, ow! You did go ahead and break the lamps. Oh no. That's okay, we don't like bright lights here. Bright lights cause migraines. We can play in the dark. Playing in the dark is comfy. <laughs> Since you said break things. Nice. Oh, it's nearly midnight! Oof! That's quite late. I mean, I guess it depends on... ...what kind of time frame you like to be awake during, but... ...generally speaking, midnight is quite late. I like midnight. Midnight is my time. But I'm a night owl. I like to be up late.
You haven't slept much recently. That's not good. Everything. I hope. I hope everything's okay. I have. I have insomnia, so I have trouble sleeping. <laughs> so I. Uh, I feel your pain. Very luckily, though, I am also uh, what's referred to as a light sleeper. And not in the way that you would normally use light sleeper. Light sleeper means I can actually... I function off of three to five hours of sleep. And I'm actually really tired. If I get, like, a full eight hours, it's too much sleep. Is this the big sad? Aw. Well, I hope the big sad goes away soon. You hang out with us here, and we will chase away the big sad. We will have a comfy time, and lift each other up, and be happy and smiling and laughing and paralyzed. Always paralyzed, because we are always paralyzed on this route. <laughs> I love Keijo too. We can love Keijo together. Keijo is amazing. We love Keijo here. Oh my gosh. Zigzagoon so hard to fight. Ah, we ran past the Pokemon Center. Level somewhere else. We can't level somewhere else. <laughs> we can't go further forward and going back would be really low leveled. We just have to deal with it and level here and be paralyzed all the time. But you know what? Now we're leveling Bolt, so we can paralyze them all the time. Also, yes, I realize we almost died. <laughs> it's okay, we take big risks here. Bolt's okay. I just want to move stronger than tackle. Hey, look, free stuff. Free stuff. Super potions. Nice. We zoom in. Do 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 do. If you don't have this music memorized yet. We haven't been here long enough. <laughs> Falcon Punch should be stronger than Tackle. Just learn that. I wish. <laughs> we should. We should work on teaching Bolt Falcon Punch. Falcon Punch doesn't exist in this game, but we're going to learn it anyway. Because we are amazing. We're just too incredible to be limited by the moves that are programmed into this game. We will break the game, and we will program our own moves. After all, we are the very best. <sighs> yeah, pre-physical special split doesn't help. I mean, there is a, uh... This game does have the physical and special split, but it's not applied like it is in the newer games. I think in this game, it's still split like um, all flying moves are physical no matter what, and all psychic moves are special moves no matter what. And all dark moves are... I think all dark moves are physical moves, if I remember correctly? It's like that. <laughs> Kamehameha is also strong? Yes. We should learn that too. Only one man is capable of that move. Despite the fact multiple people were the true captain. I didn't realize that was actually a lore thing. I don't know much about Captain Falcon outside of Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. In this generation, it's still the, uh, the really messed up split <laughs> that doesn't work correctly. 
And I really should, uh, try to get that memorized, because it's probably going to be important later on in our Nuzlocke. You know, now that I've learned it the other way, I have to teach my brain the wrong way again. Just for this game. <laughs> she she son son? I don't know that one. Eh. F-Zero anime shows the old falcon dying and a new falcon taking his place. Oh. So, the new Falcon doesn't learn Captain Punch? Cap Falcon Punch? I promise I can brain. It's from One Piece? Shishi Son Son? What is Shishi Son Son? What is? Teach me. Teach me your ways. Ow, please stop being confused. Captain Punch? <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, Pichu. We, uh, we have links disabled. But, but, here's the thing. You could either share it with Keijo, or you could DM it to me and I'll check it out later. Or, links are allowed in Discord. And you are definitely allowed to share links in Discord if you would like to. We have options, just not in Twitch chat. <laughs> Twitch, is, uh, Twitch is pretty strict about things, so we try to be careful. Don't want anybody getting in trouble. It's one of Zoro's one sword style moves. Aha! Do, 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 do. Zoro is the chef, right? Is no. Sword who's the sword dude? Zodiac's educating me. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm doing that thing I do where I mix up the dude with the green hair and the blonde dude that's a chef. I do that all the time. This is normal. <laughs> Sanji is chef. There we go. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't watched One Piece in forever? Eh. Poison! Pain! Must heal. Okay, we good. I will check out that link later. Oh no. Oh jeez. Pain. Too much. Trying so hard to let Bolt fight on their own and it's just not working. Sacrilegious. <laughs> uh, nah, we should just... Uh, and we're paralyzed. We knew that was coming. But also, free stuff! Take... more full heals. Okay, this time. This time for sure. Yes! Good job, Bolt! You did it! You fought one battle. <laughs> Bolt does need to hit the gym. Also, Bolt needs to learn an electric type move. We have a handful of water types and electric types, and none of our water types know any water type moves, and our electric type doesn't know any electric moves. Oh my god, stop being paralyzed! <laughs> Paralysis is pain. I think it's, uh... I think it's silly 
that our water type Pokemon knows a flying type move. But not water gun. Haha! -ha! Now you're paralyzed! They did it! So they're normal types. Yes. So much paralysis. All the paralysis all the time. Good thing we have a zoom button. We're so close. Oh, they hurt. But look, Bolt is getting more self-reliant. She can fight on her own sometimes now. She's getting there. Free stuff. Money. We don't use revives. This is a Nuzlocke. Phoenix is so strong. As it should be. <laughs> Disney's Bolt should be able to hold her own from level 20. Bolt can do it. We believe in you. You can do it. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Umbreon. I love Umbreon. I didn't originally think that I would like Umbreon. I originally intended to have a, uh, an Espeon, but I accidentally, by chance, got an Umbreon. And I loved Umbreon. And Umbreon became my favorite Pokemon. Can you name an Umbreon after me? Yes, you can. You can name an Umbreon after me. How many Umbreon do you have in Pokemon Go? How, how many do you have? Of course they poisoned us. Of course. We were gonna finally get to use Quick Attack. What's your favorite, Peach? What's yours? We shared our favorite. Keijo is your favorite, but Keijo's not a Pokemon! Keijo is not Pokemon. Keijo... Keijo is Keijo. Keijo is a lovely witch. But, I mean, I guess if we give Keijo a bucket of water, then maybe Keijo could be a water-type Pokemon. You have two Umbreons? Perfect. Yeah, actually, though, I was going to ask what's Keijo's... Keijo hasn't played Pokemon! You like Ditto. Ditto is a good Pokemon. We always get paralyzed! Money! Zoom! Zoom! 
So what we have to do is give Keijo a bucket of water and call that water gun. And then we can give Keijo a taser and call that th thunderbolt. And we can give Keijo one of those cool little clicky lighter things that you use to like light grills and stuff. You know, the big long one that you pull the little button and it clicks. We'll give him one of those and we'll call that Ember. See, Keijo's becoming an epic Pokemon already. Keijo's gonna have Thunderbolt and Ember and Water Gun. We need a fourth move. It'll be Headbutt. <laughs> Bad idea to give Keijo a taser. But you need an electric type move. You need Thunderbolt. Mudkip is also cute. I like Mudkips. Oh my god, we can't beat the Zigzagoons! They're too strong! <laughs> Give them wool socks. Thundershock. Isn't Thunderbolt the stronger one, though? You can and will taste yours. What? <laughs> oh, Taze! Okay, I was like, whoa! What? What? <laughs> Teach Keijo bite. Keijo will taste themselves. <laughs> what starter did we pick? We picked Phoenix. Phoenix is our starter. This is a very special game. In this very special game, our starter was an Eevee. Because we always play the game with Umbreon. Wake up! Level 27, no evolving. No. 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 Pichu wants to taste a witch. I wonder what a witch would taste like. You know, I once joined a thing where one of my favorite artists was telling people what candy they would be. And she said that I would be a maple candy. And since Keijo has similar colors, maybe Keijo would also be a maple candy. And therefore Keijo would taste like a maple candy. Mm, maple candy. Level 18, let's go! It tastes like failed dreams. What do failed dreams taste like, though? We're fine, we did it! We did one fight! You always use Pichu. That makes sense. <laughs> you like maple, so you can try both of us just to check. Okay, but I bite back. <laughs> for science? Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I bite back for science. Sure. Not for the blood running through your veins or anything. <laughs> for science. <laughs> Go for it. Are you sure about that? You might be tired after. Actually, maybe that would be a good thing, though, because you're trying to sleep. You're having troubles. <laughs> they have a sort of burnt ambrosia taste. I don't know what ambrosia tastes like, so... That might be interesting. Maybe we should taste a Keijo. <laughs> we could learn a new flavor. For science. Meanwhile, Zodiac just in the corner like, I have no idea what's going on here. Everyone's talking about eating Kato. <laughs> the Slime Parade! Thank you for the follow, Vaskin! If I mispronounce that, it's okay to correct me. <laughs> I try my best. But thank you, welcome to the Marshmallow Grove. I hope you are enjoying our random leveling montage. <laughs> I 
also our discussion about what witches taste like. <laughs> you don't want to know the different mythical creatures that have bitten me? Oh no. But I do want to know. But I kind of do, though. What if I do want to know? I'm stronger than you. I'm level 18. Oh, that para paralysis. No. Must heal. We did two battles. That's a new record for Bolt. Yes, Kedro is now on the menu. The menu now includes Kedro. <laughs> do, do, do. do you have the song memorized yet? <laughs> oh, no, we're confused. We're changing. Switch, 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 switch. Hi, Romeo! We've been talking about what Keijo tastes like. <laughs> Am I disappointed my Wurmple didn't become a Beautifly? I mean, I like Wormpole and I like Dust Ox, so I'm kind of okay either way. But I like that uh, Beautifly can learn Silver Wind. I don't know if Beautifly can learn Silver Wind in this version. I don't remember what game that came out in, but I like Silver Wind, so I was kind of looking forward to that. But that's okay. We got a Dust Ox instead. And they have confusion, and that's super useful, so. Let's see, Pichu has been bitten by a concubus, a demon lord, a necromancer, two dragons, and a wolf goddess. And that's just a few of them. <laughs> the list is not complete. Wait, Kidra's sitting right next to Romeo. At least... <laughs> Please take me out to dinner first. But aren't you eating pizza right now? Doesn't that count? Level 19, let's go! One more! Pichu wants to find out by themselves. <laughs> Romeo gonna make a snack of Keijo. Mmm, Keijo brains. Or something. <laughs> You'd be happy to add a druid vampire and a witch? <laughs> you have to take me out if you want to taste. Well, sounds like we need to start planning to take Keijo out then. Attack the Wingle! We're so close! You already planned it? Pichu's ahead of the game! Pichu's ten steps ahead Blah blah blah. Ten steps ahead of us. Let's do a heal thing. So, Pichu, you already have plans. Where do you plan to take Keijo? Where are you gonna go? Pichu's got the plan, so... We gotta follow Pichu. Pichu knows what Pichu's doing. Ultra Balls, yes! Red Lobster? What are you gonna order at Red Lobster? <laughs> I mean, of course, you're going to get Cheddar Biscuits. We all know you're gonna get Cheddar Biscuits. But after that, I mean, what are you gonna get other than Cheddar Biscuits? Or are you just going to only get Cheddar Biscuits? You're just gonna be like, you know what, I'm here for the Cheddar Biscuits. I don't want anything else. I'm just here for the Cheddar Biscuits. And like, order a soda, and just eat Cheddar Biscuits all night.
shotgun to take Kedro. No! No! You can't take Kedro out with a shotgun! Then finish the Shader Biscuits? No! Wait. No, oh, we can fight a Zigzagoon! We can barely fight a Zigzagoon! Is pain. So yes, them, them not, uh, not him. He's okay, Pichu, you know now. Oh, look, we're so close! Look, we're so close. So close. One more. Yes! We're finally learning an Electric-type move! At level 20! Finally! One of our type-specific Pokémon has their actual type move now. Yes. We've done it. We've taken all of the Pokémon we can for right now, up to level 20. Okay, here. I got you. There you go. It never happened. You can move them around? Yes. Okay, that just means it is time for you to go to bed. It is sleep time. You are too tired. You should do a bedtime thing, probably. That's okay, because we're just about to end, so this is good timing. Good timing to do a bedtime thing. Let's save. Let's do save thing. Because we have reached our goal. We have gotten everyone to level 20, and we should save now. There we go. Okay. Yes. To the chatting screen.